Welcome into the Big Ten Hockey Report. Rick Pizzo here alongside former Ohio State standout Paul Caponegri, getting you ready for the upcoming weekend of Big Ten Hockey, including Minnesota's road trip to face the Penn State Nittany Lions. Gophers coming off a weekend at the Mariucci Classic, made it to the championship game but fell in overtime to number seven Harvard. Check out the Big Ten Hockey Report as we release it throughout the week online. Don Lucia speaking about what that tournament and the runner-up finish means to his team. As for Penn State, the Nittany Lions just keep rolling with Minnesota coming into town. Penn State ranked number 14th in this week's USCHO poll, ranked second in the country in points per game. They lead all of NCAA hockey in shots per game. Guy Godowski's team continuing to climb up the ladder of the nation's elite. As for the Big Ten standings, these two teams expected to be in the mix at year's end. Of course, Minnesota coming off a year in which they won both the regular season and conference tournament titles, but Penn State was there until the bitter end, and the Nittany Lions expect to be there once again. Don Lucia spoke with us about the series matchup with Penn State. Well, they, they play a very relentless game. They shoot the puck from everywhere. So I've already told our goaltender, you better be ready because uh, when, as soon as they cross the blue line, they're going to be firing. And uh, the more he can kind of take whistles and, and uh, give us a restart in the defensive zone, probably the better. Uh, we're going to have to do a good job defending the blue paint because they attack it so well. Um, and then we're going to have to get the puck out of our zone. They, they are a very heavy forechecking team. We're going to have to play a, a, a good, smart game. We're going to have to have great puck support, especially in our own end, uh, because uh, Penn State's been very good at home. They've scored a lot of goals, and we're not a real high-scoring team this year, so uh, we're not going to outscore them. We have to make sure we out-defend them. Minnesota leads the Big Ten with nine conference points. Of course, Penn State is the only team without a blemish on their record. Nittany Lions, though, have played two fewer games in the league than have the Gophers. They sit three points in arrears of Minnesota, but of course, with those two games in hand, a chance to take over first place this weekend at home against Minnesota at one of the best barns in all of college hockey, Pagula Ice Arena. Listen, Guy Godowski, we all know, is the architect of this program, has done all the right things since being put in place to lead the transition from sure. club hockey to Division One. Now they're inside the top 10 in the pairwise. They're inside right. the top 15 in the rankings. What's driving the success this year without the likes of guys like Casey Bailey? I mean, and that, and that was probably the biggest question for them coming in is like, you're losing a 20-goal scorer out of a team that's only in their second year of Division One full-time, and it has been their freshman. They... Th- Penn State has done a great job recruiting, and a couple guys, Chase Berger is leading their team with 10 goals. You have Andrew Sturtz with another eight. And then you add those guys with the Goodwins and the Loikes that have elevated their games, and that has put Penn State in the driver's seat right Also now. getting some really solid goaltending right now. Yes. Guy Godowski continues to go back and forth between Eamon McAdam and Matthew Scoff. It's working. He told me if it's not broke, <laughs> I'm not going to fix it. I'm not changing anything, even though he did say that he's not so sure that he's standard two goalie guy sure. he would like to go with one guy but if it's working why change it's things up as for minnesota they've gotten solid goaltending play from eric yes. shearhorn the replacement for adam wilcox and yet they have struggled to close really important yes. games couple of late mistakes to lose in that championship game of the mariucci classic to harvard you know and it's it's funny had don lucia talked about his goaltending he thought it was going to be a big issue this year and eric shearhorn has been great and I think they're, they're scoring. They're, you lose a Mike Riley first and foremost, a guy, a defenseman, All-American, you know, a guy that you relied on for so much. You know, it's hard to replace those minutes and those points. And there's a couple upperclassmen that haven't really filled, filled the roles of scoring goals, and I think that's another thing you hit on. They haven't been scoring a lot of goals this year, and it's affected them from the bottom all the way to the top. It's hard to quantify who has more at stake when you're so early in conference play, sure. but in a matchup, in Penn State, where the Nittany Lions have been so good yes. at home, and Minnesota on the road knowing that they have to show that they can be the team that they were of a couple of years ago. Sure. How would you assess the importance of this matchup and whether it means more to one squad than the other? I mean, it's a, it's amazing we're talking about this. The third year Penn State's yeah. in, in existence, and they're the favorite now. They're, we're looking at this like, is Minnesota going to be able to get some points out of this? Because Penn State has been so tough at home. They're the number three power play in the country. They're the number two scoring team in the country. And you heard Don Lucia says they're having trouble scoring goals. So there is going to be a huge test for them. I think Penn State is looking at this like we can take a stranglehold here if we can get a sweep out of this this weekend. Friday, Saturday series in State College for Paul. I'm Rick. That's just one portion of this week's Big Ten Hockey Report. Continue.
continue to follow us at btn.com on our Twitter page, on Facebook and YouTube as well. Thanks for watching this BTN Hockey Report.